Komatsu. What? Komatsu. Oh, big front end loader. He must be headed to the heavy hitters event because he knows we're about to get some beggings. Heavy hitters, welcome up, welcome back, welcome back. I am not, we can't even do that. We can't even start it that way. Yeah, you gotta do that. Dang. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Here we are. Uh, welcome back. We're back on the road again. I feel like it's deja vu. We're always on the road. We start the channels. I always go, boop. Welcome back to the channel. But that's what you're supposed to say whenever you open up the video. So that's what we're doing, opening up the video right now. So we're still opening up the video and I haven't officially opened up the video. We're, all right, here we are. We're, we're a minute in and all we've said is we're opening up the video. We're, we're, gonna open we're, up, we're video. opening up the video. Headed west right here. Uh, heavy hitters event, okay? Major League Fishing heavy hitters event. Um, we are going to Lake Palestine and right now we're in traffic. Down I-20, I don't know what they're doing. A police literally went driving the opposite way, so I don't know. Somebody may have robbed a Piggly Wiggly. Who knows? I don't know. This week, somebody is going to win $100,000 for one catch. Okay? Actually, there's going to be in each group, if you catch the biggest fish, $25,000 Okay, per group. I'm in group B. Group A, the biggest fish out of that group, twenty-five dollars Group B, 25 grand. Knockout round, $50,000 fish. If you make championship round and you catch the biggest fish out of those 10 boats, $100,000 catch. Who knows? Then if you win, if you win the tournament, that's another 100 grand. So we're fishing for a lot of cheese this week. Straight government pepper jack, however you want to call it, cheese, cheddar. What crap is that? I don't know what that is. is that, what is that, like a rolling oil rig? I have no clue what that is. Y'all comment below, what, what what is that? I don't know what that is, but, but it's springtime. I'm gonna roll this down one more time. Y'all see these trees? Blooming trees right here. We got a little blooming going on. All the dead leaves. Look at this guy up front. Yes, sir, all right. He got the MLF right there going. It's springtime. Birds chirping, I always say this, turkeys gobbling, these flowers blooming, it's springtime. You know what that means. Y'all know what that means. Finicky spawning fish. I have no clue to the end of time. Everybody is so excited. Oh, they on bed. They coming, to, they coming to the bank, they gonna be on bed. I hate when they're on bed. I don't even like when they're on bed. Cause when they get on bed, they're finicky. You can't get them to bite. You can literally go down the bank with your favorite bait. Buzz bait, a frog, flip, throw a daggum vibrating jig, whatever you're gonna throw. And it's like, there ain't no fish here. But then you slide back through there and fish straight pawpaw style, cause they're on bed, you can't see them. Oh, there's one, three pounds. And, and you gotta slow way down this time of year. So that's the only downside. Me, I'm always like There will, I don't know, there may be forward-facing sonar in this deal I highly doubt it highly doubt it so actually I'm kind of glad because I'm tired of staring at my screen y'all comment below if y'all are tired of seeing that too it don't matter to me practice starts tomorrow we got tomorrow Friday I'm off Saturday I fish on Sunday so we're uh, down two guys this week too we're down two guys two guys are down and out Adrian is actually him and his wife Kara are having a sweet little baby a baby not my little baby that didn't sound right right <laughs> I got a little puppy dog as a baby they're having an actual baby so uh, congrats to them they haven't had it yet hopefully in the next like 24 hours yeah, they'll be it, having it's going to be hours be away, hours away. Yeah. so uh, Mark Barely missed out on heavy hitters too, so it's me and J-Dub in the house this week, so You know got to try to outdo my my roommate this week it's very tough to do sometimes because he knows how to catch a bass or two also But um, yeah, we're in route just catching y'all up speed. This is where we're at heavy hitters major league fishing
We back in Texas, baby. Back in Texas. Big fish capital. Is it is, is Texas big fish capital of the world? Well, Ufala says they got it. Te like Ufala does say big fish, big bass capital of the world, but I'm gonna tell you the big fish state. Close race between Florida and Texas. I think Texas got them. So here we are. We're back in Texas. Can you smell it? Can you feel it? Spring. Mmm. What I'm talking about. Look right here. Pollen. Pine trees. Even the pine trees are green. <laughs> They're always green. I even wore spring clothing look at this i'm in spring mood pretty sweet little shirt y'all check them out googlesquad.com they got that fresh swaggy let's go check out the house let's see let's see what we're working with this week if you look to your right right here we have a nice center block right there pretty nice center block pretty nice place and it's not the nicest place we've stayed there's the little key lock oh we got a little grill dinghy oh man this is the spot they even got secret lures right here look they left us some secret lures boom man this is pretty legit i like it y'all take a little peek right here this is lake palestine this is where this is where it goes down at this week somebody's gonna get it a hundred thousand dollar bass this week on this place right here look at it just look at it it's a damn mud bomb holy get y'all one of them adrian venus oh i got you i can't <laughs> they won't even let us step on the dock it's got a really damn good mud bomb huh dang dirty Oh, that ain't that bad. No, hey, that's perfect. That's perfect swim jig color. Mmm. Oh, swim jig. Mmm. All right, I feel good about it. Got some timber out here in the middle. I may just have to pull out a jerk bait. Who knows? Low key, I'm going to give you all like a heads up. I'm hoping that it's actually springtime. Oh, man, I feel good about it. I feel good about it. Are we just gonna not talk about that we got pulled over? Got him. We're gonna talk about we just got pulled over. Why did we get pulled over? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me help you out. Let me help you out. You ready? Can I do something with it? Oh man, this is where we're at. Brett B, why we get pulled over, bro? They they already knew I got pulled over last year and I never paid that ticket. Nope. Time out. Bro, can I tell them? <laughs> yeah, they can already I, know. I think they know. Brett got pulled got over blown. last year. He was blowing through a school zone. My first truck, my, my first trip with you out of state, and I got your rig pulled over. Listen, my rig was pulled over in front of a school. He was running like 74 in a true. 22, That's in a 25 true. mile an hour zone. Look, don't go 20 over during school hours. Yeah, what kind of dummy would do that? Someone who sees that there's no kids because it's COVID, but they're still going to pull you over. You're right about that. So he got pulled over. What they got you? I did. I paid that ticket. What did yeah. it hit you for? About two sixty? Uh, it was over two, but I don't remember exactly what it was. Got him. Yep. So we did just get pulled over. We I literally went across over. the bridge. This thing's kind of heavy doing this. Hey, look, we just we went across the bridge at uh at uh at Palestine. So we we rode across the bridge. We looked around the lake and. Uh, and 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 old buddy pulled us over and my man he pulled up beside us and i noticed he was hanging he was hanging there slowly and i said we're about to get pulled over so sure enough he, he 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 lit us up said my tag was expired i didn't have registration on the truck said there wasn't no tag in uh on my trailer if y'all look right here i'm not cameraman but <laughs> there is no tag there ain't no tag in Alabama. You don't have to have tags in Alabama on your trailer. So why do these cops keep pulling us over thinking we got tags on trailers? Because I, something's about your truck. They love pulling people over in your truck. They do. They love it. They just want some Guggen baits. I, I cannot blame them. I'm going to hand this back to you. There we go. Because it's hurting my arm. I can't do it. So, 
a little birdie told me also, number one angler in the world is staying here this week. He's gonna be here shortly. got to drive from Tulsa all the way to the lake. We're right here on the pond. This is so convenient. Oh gosh, it's going to feel good. I actually get a, an hour of sleep this week. Unbelievable. This place is perfect, man. Perfect to go catch a hundred thousand dollar bass. I don't like it. I feel good about it. Thirty-seven. Thirty-sevens, bro. These are not thirty-five. No, they're thirty-sevens. Wow. Thirty-sevens on them. Dang. What up, Big Daddy? What about it, buddy? <laughs> hey. Oh, Jay Willie done got a new rig. Y'all look at the rig. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Pretty we solid. We got we got it set up, man. This thing's badass. It's unbelievable. Look at this. Look at the back. Unreal. Unbelievable. I'll just show you this. Look at this. Y'all look right here. Somebody come, somebody come take a look. Let's go to the bed slide. Oh, real. Grab your stuff. Some spinner weight box. Look at that. Wow, man. We're moving on up, you see. Moving on up. We are, we are, we are about to have to step up. Man, the bone, buddy. I'm getting moving step on. Step up, bro. Oh, I'm older than me. My wow. favorite thing is though, hold up. 35. Wow. All the tackle. Where are we at? Okay, I'm gonna give you guys an update on where we're at. This hey we're guys, we're at Lake Palestine. There's some rich neighborhood we have no clue. <laughs> okay, so this is actually where we're at. <laughs> we are actually going to grab a bite to eat with uh, a whole bunch of guys, man. It's uh, it's about six o'clock. Wiley X is sponsoring this dinner. One of the owners of Wiley X is looking out and providing us some Texas barbecue. So, come on Texas in. Texas barbecue. Texas barbecue. Y'all come on in. Y'all like barbecue? Come join us. Come on. We're gonna find out what Texas barbecue is <laughs> all about. Uh -huh. yeah, that's a nice little place. Yeah, it is. Hey, Skeet. I thoroughly enjoyed watching that team tournament thing. Right, you read it, you read your can, right? We're recording? Yeah, we're recording. So you read your can, yep. and you, you get all the details, right? That's what everybody then, does. Then you take that hit, you take that first drink, because you ain't never had it before. Wow. First sip. I don't know why. Then you, it's good. Then you hit him with that look again. Why do we do that? Why do people do that? Everybody does it though. We always stare at the can like it's gonna change. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something else. That everybody does. Like it's gonna have like some glow about it. Go get you a ratchet strap. Yeah. You put something on the trailer. Strap him down. You cannot. It's like a, I've tried it. I cannot not say it. That ain't going nowhere. <laughs> right. You're right. You cannot not say it. It'll be like. <laughs> Grab a ratchet strap. Look at your buddy. That ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's got to be a double negative too. That ain't going, going nowhere. nowhere. Right. right. At 1.5 miles arrive at 4. You cannot not. Catch a catfish, yeah, and say, Before you let him go, that's good eating size. <laughs> you cannot not do that. I'm telling you right now, that's three tendencies that I never realized that that's some serious stuff. Like, if I ran a truck, like if I, if I drove like an 18 wheeler, they strap like wood to my trailer every day, I'd look at everybody I know. Listen, I ain't going nowhere.
morning update on Lake Palestine. Uh, it's windy. It's blowing its daggum head off. Uh, if you take a little wild peak right through there. So, uh, I heard just poking around, man. I launched in Flat Creek earlier. Pretty a bit of boats in there. The wind was chopping like this. I think you can get some bikes in there. I didn't really like it because it's, it, it, it's such a big area and you can only really fish the bank right now. So you get behind three or four boats in there, you're like, eh. So we're back up here near Kickapoo. Go so Kickapoo. Gotta get bikes. Or if we just jump some damn stumps. Unbelievable. There's too many stumps in this place. They didn't do a real good job when they built this sucker of like cutting out boat lanes to make it navigation. You know what I mean? So this is a man-made lake. It was flooded. That's why there's two lanes. So before you flood it, you cut some lanes. Common knowledge. I don't know, the wind's starting to get up. I figured I'm gonna get off, go somewhere else. Good luck, y'all. Thank you, One chicken, one beef. Okay, that was the number six, and you're gonna, on the Tulipas, you want a chicken and a beef. Chicken and a beef. Taco, that extra taco. Can you make me a Mexi melt, please. Can I like substitute it? Whatever I gotta do. I'm sorry, we can't. We can't do that. I can substitute it for another taco, but not anything else. Just a uh, Dorito Loco taco on there. All right. With that, did you say you wanted it supreme? Yes. Or regular? Okay. With this, with the supreme Dorito Loco, and for the drink. Uh, Baja Blast. With the Baja Blast. Is that all for you? That's it. Any mild hot fire or Diablo sauce? Hot sauce. Hot sauce? Did you did you say hot or mild? Hot. Okay, hot. It's eleven thirty six. Thank you. Bro, Taco Bell is not cheap. Y'all on some remember when Taco Bell was cheap? It's not cheap. It's never cheap. Nothing's cheap anymore. If you got money, I ain't got money. I swear to God, I don't have my wallet. You being serious again? I swear. I okay. don't have my wallet. It's in my boat. All right. I got you. Just bill me. I got you. Do interest on it, too. Do interest on like it? 85% interest. Okay. Thanks, bud. Appreciate yeah, it. Man. Thanks. Sorry, if we can't feed your current crave due, due to national ingredient shortages and delivery delays, we may be out of some food. I got a question. Why is there ingredient shortages and delivery delays? COVID. I thought COVID was over. COVID's never over. We We've bring never it had ingredient shortages Listen, ever. We bring it back when we need it. Hey, hey y'all. Y'all got ingredient Sorry. ingredient shortages? I'm um, sometimes. What is that from? I, I really don't know. Is it from Joe Biden? I don't I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs>
here's a large mouth on the nuke. They got thick jaws here. That's a little buck right there. We finally captured one. He ain't gonna score though. He's gotta be two pounds. See you, bud. All right, here we are. We're wrapping them up. Speaking of wrapping it up, <laughs> why are you laughing? Why are y'all laughing? No reason. Speaking of wrapping it up, we're going to wrap up this practice vlog video on Lake Palestine. I'm going to sum up the whole situation. Um, a lot of stumps. No, not a lot. I mean, a ton. Bazillions of them. Oh, my gosh. I've knocked two chunks out of my skeg. I feel good about it. <laughs> I don't feel good about it. So uh, that wraps up practice for me. Decent practice, decent, decent. Didn't really get much out of today. I ran some new water and it was kind of like meh, 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 everywhere I went. Didn't really like it, the wind blew 30 mile an hour. This tournament, you're just gonna have to roll with it. That's just how it's gonna be. I'm just gonna roll with it. If I don't catch them on day one, I'll roll into somewhere new and just do best we can, so. I feel okay about it. We fish in two days from now. Jacob fishes tomorrow. I'm in group B again. So y'all stay tuned. Day one, heavy hitters is coming at you. Um, like, subscribe for us. Hey, can I give you some good news, though? What? You're not in your boat. Oh, my God. All right, so this is how this is going to go down. We're fishing out of the league boats, okay? Major League Fishing league boats. So the, I, I don't know. I may be in a nitro. I may be in a bass cat. Hope I'm not, but <laughs> but uh, hey you now, but uh, but yeah, that, we're fishing out of the league boats. We're not fishing out of mine. Thank God, this this boat is completely fine. It's it, it's scaved enough stuff. And for all y'all that's peeping right here, yes, I am having me a nice cold brewski. I actually drank it all. So. It's been one of those days. The, the, the wind has killed me. The stumps have murdered my boat. And it still ain't springtime. It's cold all day long. Unbelievable. So, um, I don't know. Somebody's going to win the tournament. Somebody's going to catch $100,000 fish. Somebody's going to catch $25,000 fish. Why can't it be me? Y'all stay tuned. Day one's coming up. I may catch them. I may not. Who knows? See you. So, so this is the deal. We're watching Family Feud. At the end of the day, DC's actually pretty good at it. He wants to go on. He wants to go on. You want to go on Family Feud, don't you? Man, y'all don't want me to go on Family Feud. Look, these people, they just said, what's a city that they party a lot? You know what they said? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Both of them. Both, Both of them. Of them. Lord. Both of them. So DC goes literally. Goes, guess what the thing was? Go listen, <laughs> y'all. Listen. You know how many people knew that same deal? Zero. Nobody out of a hundred people thought of Fort Lauderdale except them two human beings. Unbelievable. So we're sitting there, and I was like, Why didn't you just say Miami? Top party destinations. Yeah. Like Miami. I'm gonna say the best for last. Y'all comment below. Actually, you're probably gonna hear this, so then you'll be able to comment, but Miami. New York. I, I would say New York City, big yeah. party there. Um, sure. Another sneaky destination in the South, Panama City. Sneaky, wait, what? I don't know sneaky. No, <laughs> Panama City's not like top five. Well, I know, but like, that's like in the South. Everybody Man, goes to Panama City. you're from Alabama. I know. Yes. Panama City is a big deal, but that's not a big That's literally like saying Fort Lauderdale. Hey, I'm going to tell you a big party city, though, that nobody really is a sneaker. We're talking about top five. Okay, top five. I'm on. I'm going to throw this out there. You ready? Yep. Nashville. Oh, what? Yeah. what? Nashville, baby. Nashville. 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 Okay, that's it. Let's see right here. Here you go. Here you go. Miami. 
Nashville, Austin. Texas actually a little bit. So What's better, Austin or Dallas? Austin. 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 Dallas is like Austin. a stadium sale. And then you would go, and then you would probably be like LA and then Vegas. Vegas number one by far. There you go, that's the five. Top five destinations. Las Vegas was number one answer. They got zero because I said Fort Lauderdale. Hey, you were about to say Panama City. Panama City Beach, Florida. <laughs> Not the Panama Canal down there at the very peninsula of Mexico. Panama you were about to say Panama City. Panama City, Panama City is trashy. Too. Nah, hey, that's like trashy. Too. Trashy. Trashy. It might well be in Alabama. It's trashy. <laughs> I hate that Mark Daniels act. 